Okay, in this video what we're going to do is have a look at a while loop. So in our last video we looked at a for loop and what that does. Now a for loop is where you might loop something for a set number of times, so we call that a finite loop. While loops are infinite, so they will repeat forever or until a certain condition occurs. And the way that we set up a while loop is we type in the word while, then we might state um, a variable, a value, and let's set it up like this. We might say that while x equals zero, print hello world. So what's going to happen here is that while the value um, that is inside of x equals zero, hello world is going to be printed to the screen. It's going to be printed to the screen repeatedly. Now at the moment we don't have a, a variable called x, so I just need to add one in here. So x contains zero, x equals zero, we've assigned zero into x, and while x equals zero, print hello world. Let's see what happens if I now run this. Okay, so you can see that it's repeatedly printing hello world to the screen. It's doing that forever. Okay, these are all the ones that have happened so far. Okay, and it's continually trying to add more. So that is a while loop in its simplest form. So what we can do in a while loop is we can actually ask um, the user to type in a value. So we might say that x equals input please enter a number and so that the computer knows that what's going to be inputted is going to be a, a number um, that it can actually check against this value here, the zero. Just need to obviously convert it to an integer input. Okay, and what I'm going to do down here is I'm just going to type print the loop has ended so that we can check when the loop finishes and I'm going to type in input so the program doesn't close straight away. So x equals zero and what we've got here is while x equals zero it's going to ask the user to type in a number. So let's see what happens. Okay, please enter a number. Let's type in a zero and it asks for the exact same statement so it's repeated. Okay, it's looped around because x still equals zero. I type in a zero again and again it's repeated because the number that I've typed in and that's gone, on to, gone into x is a zero so this statement here is continuing to be true okay so while x equals zero which it still does we're still asking for that number and this will repeat as long as I type in a zero but the moment I type in anything other than a zero for example I type in a one okay the loop will finish because that condition of x equaling zero is no longer true it has now become false and when it becomes false the loop is going to finish and that again is another way that we can check um, or, or use a while loop okay the last thing I want to do is get you thinking about how this while loop might be used um, when you're sat at a computer you might be doing this every day you go and log on to your computer system and you type in a password and this happens all over the place when you're online etc so there'll be a while loop running in the background that says that whilst the, pi the, the password that it's got stored for your account um, doesn't equal the password that you've entered, it's going to ask you to type in a new password again. So let's just see how this works. Let's set a variable called password and I'm going to give it the title Sidmouth with a capital S. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a loop, a while loop that says while password and here, okay, I'm going to put in an exclamation mark equals. Now that means doesn't equal. I should have said in, in the previous uh, section that whenever we're checking if something actually equals another value, like we do in maths, we use a double equals. And the reason why that is because we've already got a single equals for variable assignment. So we can't use a single equals. So whenever we have um, a condition in a while statement, we have a double equals sign. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to check to see, uh, a, have a condition where password doesn't equal perhaps the user password and so that this loop can run first of all again I need to make sure that I've got user password being an actual variable and I'm just going to set it 
to nothing okay it's an empty string value so password equals sidmouth and user password equals nothing and what we're going to say is that while password doesn't equal the user password which it doesn't at the moment I'm going to get the user to type in please type in your password and I'm going to store that into user password and I'm going to change this little message to uh, welcome you entered your password correctly okay so let's see what happens now let's save that and let's run it so it's asking me to type in my password so at the moment the user password is equal to nothing and the password that is stored is equal to Sidmouth so while password doesn't equal the user password it's asking me to type in my password which it's doing now so if I typed in Sid it asked me to type in my password okay because clearly that is not correct so nothing has changed password still doesn't equal user password so let's type in Sid with uh, Sid Mao okay doesn't allow it type in that doesn't allow it let's type in Sidmouth with a capital S we obviously know that that is the password okay once I've typed that in it says welcome you entered your password correctly and the reason why it's allowed me to come in to uh, my program or get into my program or into my account or whatever um, we're trying to actually get into is because I've typed in the password correctly so now once I typed in Sidmouth with a capital S this value here became uh, Sidmouth therefore password doesn't equal user password became false okay because actually they did equal each other and as soon as this condition became false because I typed in the user password correctly it came out of the loop and printed this statement and that in a nutshell is how a while loop works